This is Kim from Cranes Booksmithy. Hope you guys are doing very well. It's a very hot day over here. We're having, I think it's 102 today, and every day it's going to be one degree hotter until it reaches 105, I think, and then hopefully it'll start going back down. Um, this here. I had this made for a little while and just needed to add a few little extra things and like I did I had to put the ribbon on and I just didn't get it done because I started um, trying to organize my craft room and that took forever and I'm still not done with that. Anyway, I think she's a very pretty book. I think it's a charming book. And um, I, it's a repurposed book, and she's about five and a half by eight, and an inch and a half spine. There's the back. This beautiful uh, material here, I'm pretty sure that it's from about 1920s. It looks like a a flapper dress and it's very uh, material and it's really pretty it's um pink with gold thread in it also this um lace i used around the edge is um very old too maybe possibly even slightly older but it, it's very old and um very very lovely i think and um, this image came from Graphics Fairy and um, used some more old laces and I think it came out quite nice. And then here's some beads. And this is a very old vintage um, button here. But recently I've seen some that looked um, very much like this one but they were new this one is old though it had it for a very long time and um, let me open her and show you what's inside she has a, about 112 pages and I'm counting every single little page because I mean some people might want to do things with that too so I just went ahead and counted everything so in the side I collaged and I really liked how this came out. I think I'll try doing this some more in my books that I make. I really do like it and I did this in the back also. As you can see. And um, this here is very old material. I think it must have been from some dress from long ago. I did two little layers of it. I thought it was so pretty. And then I did a little machine sewing on the edge. And you can write something and have it hidden away. So you can see through the material, so it's like a peekaboo thing. And an avocado stained doily. And here's some um, little doily here, a little round one. There's some little um, trim that I found from an antique store. And this here is very old ledger paper. Some book pages and music pages from um, different books and magazines. I did do a little. Um, this here's a, from Atlas. It's from 1950. And um, this here is from a scrapbook that was um, very old and well it was falling apart and very very um, so old so the papers were very brittle and so I took it out and, and um, carefully um, took some of the pictures out and, and I put this one here and this is from uh, 
inside of a book page there. Here's a pocket and um, a little charm here. It's the back of it. And um, this is from an old book page also, and it's very old. It's like a hundred years old too. And then some more of that um, lace here that I have on the edge here. And then I found some more um, just old papers. And here's an old postcard and um, it doesn't have anything in the back. But I thought I really do like that of this building. I love the shape of it. The way it looks on the postcard. Here's another little charm for a flower. And um, just a piece of pretty paper to um, write something extra on. Just a little collage, you know, some old, some of the old lace from this cover and then some little um, handkerchief or dolly. I don't remember that I cut up and used here. And here's another little flip up that you can write something. This is the old jello, gelatin. Um, no, it's from Knots, I believe. Um, and it tells you all kinds of recipes and stuff. It's old. It's from the 20s. Notebook page. And, and um, here's a pocket I made, and um, just something to write on, extra. More coffee, I mean more avocado dyed paper. Little collage of some old ribbons and trims. A little bit of um, stenciling. And here's a lady's hand, and I glued it on here because to me it looks like she's flipping the page over. <laughs> and um, here's another pocket that I created, and this is uh, a tag that I had made quite a while back, and um, I painted it and stenciled it, and I think it came out really pretty. And this is a little tag I made. And some very old lace and some uh, old headband with a, or like a garland that has these old flowers on it that I cut up and I used some in this book there, right there. Just a beautiful soft coloring here on this book page. And here's a sticker that I got from the Aquarian sticker book, which my son bought me for my birthday, which was nice of him. And some vintage buttons and just various papers here and a lot of places to write and collage on or whatever you want to do and here's a piece of old um, crocheted um, type lace there and um, Gina Burton Christopherson sent these to me these little corner pockets I thought they were so cute and I put them in this book, and then I made this um, pretty little tag here. It's, it has an, uh, it ha it's an old, it's a postcard, but the front of it wasn't very pretty at all, so I did this in front of it. And um, I put the two corner pockets here. And she has her own channel, and she makes beautiful journals if you want to check her out. And she's called, um, Pumpkin, pumpkin cup handmade. 
I believe that's what it is. And um, I'm silly for getting, how silly of me. Um, but she makes lovely journals. In fact, I just seen one she put out that, that was um, of the sea, and it's really pretty. And this is from um, some music books that you could buy, sheet music and books like that. And um, I just love the coloring on those very old books from the 20s and 30s. And um, they have such beautiful coloring. So I like to make tags and little journaling cards out of them. And here's a little copy of a postcard with some of these are old laces, very old. So is this one. A little charm or pearl thing there. This old lace here. And a place to write that I stuck on this page. So and added some gold tissue paper, um, a bridge card, and a little journaling card, and another place to write. Some little angels. And this is an old stamp collector's page here with some stamps on it. And this came from an old book page, uh, magazine page from 1922. And this book here is very old too. It's from 18 something, but I don't remember the exact date. This page is old. I think it's a almost more like a transition from from Art Nouveau to Art Deco style there. from that scrapbook just a pretty shiny ribbon that I stuck in here with some little tiny staples and, I, and this book's pretty full so old trim More machine sewing. And I saw a button on this um, postcard. This isn't an old one, this is new. Some old lace. This one here is new lace, but this one's old. Some more stenciling. And a little tag that I glued on this, this material here, and this is old. And then a little tag I made. And this is from another music um, book, which I really like those. They're, they're light and they, so they don't take up a lot of space, bulk, and um, I just love the oldness of it. A little collage in here I did and some sewing too for interest and there you can write something there and close it up some old um, measuring tape there and here's a pocket and this is from an old um, dolly too and here's that gold thread which is old and I, I just like it I don't have very much left of it I have seen it before but um, not very often. I think only once before and I did buy this one. And this here's an old postcard from um, it's to someone in Salinas, California and, and it's um, 1910. Here's a little pocket that I made with some more of that pretty music paper and I left this I was going to cover this but I love the and it came from um, 
that scrapbook. It was the cover of it. And um, I went ahead and left this on it where it had a picture stuck to it because I love the old look that it gave to it. It's already old and beautiful, but they just added some more. Some very old um, lace there. Some stenciling. A very old birthday card. I don't know how old it is, but it seems to be pretty old. And it's, I think it's such a pretty um, card. It's a birthday card. And some clusters I made a while back. And isn't this beautiful? I love this lace, this ruffle here. It's so pretty. And I did these little birds and um, with some ribbon and glued it on, like they're flying and carrying the ribbon. I think that came out very pretty. I think it looks very old fashioned. And, and just something that would be in an old scrapbook from long ago. Some old plates and dishes from the 20s, 30s, 40s. And um, it's from an old book, book a page. Not super old, but it is pretty old, I think. And another cluster I made, which has the word showing here that says beauty. And two little hearts, and um, you can if you want to. Let's see, maybe you can't. No, I'm afraid you can't because I glued it. But if you want to, you can stick something small in it. Let's see if I can find something, a piece of paper here. You can stick a little note thing like that in here if you want. It's up to you. Or you can leave it plain. And if I hadn't glued this down, you could have opened it. But it's beautiful the way it is. And there's a lot of places to write in here. And here's some beautiful little um, beads from a necklace that I had gotten at a thrift shop pocket with a um, little card in there to write on and um, I put some of that material in, in this little coin um, holder and this coin ho holder was given to me by Gina from Pumpkin C Cup Handmade and that's really pretty and I use this beautiful brown ribbon little card, plain card, and right in the back because I backed it with some coffee dyed paper. Here's another bridge um, tally paper and um, with someone's name on it, Adele. And um, you can just um, open it and uh, let me open it for you. And um, you can um, write it right here if you would like, a little secret thing, and um, I think it's um, really cute. I went to the antique store, I mean, no, it was an estate sale, the first really good estate sale that I've been to since um, everything's opened up and we can start going places again. And. Um, I bought a whole bunch of these and then I cut this paper like this and so that you can see this beautiful old house peeking through. I do like the layered look of papers. Here's a little um, coin envelope that I made with some rose petals in it and another postcard that, and that is new. And this is old. Isn't that pretty? Here's a picture. Uh, this is glued on so you can't um, put another paper in, I mean another picture in it. But this picture here is so pretty. It's from an old book, 1922 um, magazine, ladies magazine. And I cut her out and put her here and I thought that was pretty. And there she is. 
and she will be on my sh et, um, on my Etsy shop if you're interested in buying her and I think I'll call her Adele since that um, bridge tally um, paper is called that name that someone's name's on it and that's a pretty name so that's what I think I'll call her I think she came out very lovely this book so um, you guys have a really great day and thank you so much for watching and, and um, See you later. Bye.